process today. It's a bit of photos taken through the day. Uh, I think everybody's represented. And um, so first, thank you to uh, Bryce and the library. My pleasure. Us. And uh, the rest of you for hosting us here. It was a great time too, so thank you as well. The, um, wow, well, really this is just a quick shot of that. Um, <laughs> fellow was in earlier today, didn't come back, but that's okay. Uh, and there's a great uh, insight on the back of this shirt <laughs> that uh, Ben captured. So we thought that was a, oh, nice. an interesting little notion to keep. So obviously we started out with uh, some requirements gathering and discussion around how the process was going to be for the day. Uh, we talked about users, what their expectations were, we talked about uh, the improvements that were needed. Bryce gave us a really good overview on uh, what the current issues were and that really helped us define what we actually needed to accomplish. Uh, so ultimately we narrowed down our objective. Uh, we wanted to remove barriers to the volunteer process, making the experience easier, faster and less intimidating. Uh, it was a very, very onerous set of PDFs and uh, we think we've ultimately boiled that down to uh, what we think is a, is a much simpler process. Uh, oh, there's the shirt again. So uh, then uh, Isaac took us through uh, prioritizing the uh, requirements across the uh, feasibility and the importance scale. And that's where we net out. So ultimately, uh, the approach we took uh, we wanted to streamline the application process, improve user experience, and then we define a platform that would allow for some extensible growth. Uh, in the, uh, the feature request or the uh, items uh, list that we had accumulated, uh, there were some pretty aggressive and some pretty ambitious uh, requirements there, but uh, ultimately this basic framework that's been developed can allow for many of those things to be uh, implemented later. Uh, it would be an extremely robust system, obviously, with all these things implemented. Uh, one of the items we talked about earlier was um, looking at third-party tools, volunteer management platforms. Many of those would have a lot of these capabilities built in. Um, obviously, there's costs associated with those, and sometimes the, uh, the government funds or the government coffers don't necessarily support those. Uh, however, many times the volunteer management platforms are actually priced accordingly because they know that organizations that leverage volunteers don't necessarily have the dollars uh, to support those big budget platforms. In any case, um, continuing on, so ultimately we streamlined the application process, uh, simplified the initial application form, provided a more engaging and meaningful experience. Uh, a lot of the discussion today centered around having the volunteers feel like they're part of the process, feel a little more engaged, rather than just throwing a, a really ugly form at them. We wanted them to feel something as they're going through that process. Uh, and ultimately a more inviting and approachable messaging and tone was developed uh, through some of Ben's copywriting and the overall streamlining of the, uh, the forms. So there's the dev team hard at work. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, here is uh, some of the lovely copy that Leza was produced. So it's just a screenshot uh, from Ben's machine. I'm not sure if this actually got implemented in the final version, but there is a copy deck that uh, can be integrated when that's uh, ready. So the improved user experience, um, we've improved it by making it web-based. Ultimately, there's a huge improvement alone. Uh, centralized applicant information. So for the volunteer managers, just having a very simple dashboard uh, of all of the applications would be a tremendous boon to them rather than the, the mile high paper. And uh, any kind of enhancements for a dashboard for the volunteer managers, again, obviously would um, provide greater visibility. There'd be some searchability and so on if they need a particular volunteer with some certain capabilities, they can you know, have some rudimentary uh, ability to search for it, at least in a preliminary version. Uh, okay. And this was uh, an early mock-up of uh, the input form. And ultimately, the deliverable is an extensible platform for growth. So applicants can have more visibility on the process. These are things that we would look forward to having in the future. So as the applicants go through the process, uh, we've identified certain areas where they'll get messaging, whether it's email or text-based messaging. <coughs> Obviously, those are capabilities that need to come in the future. Um, volunteer managers would have much more control over the process, much more visibility. And uh, it's a preliminary roadmap, some of the requirements that we've documented, 
uh, in the requirements document or a functional requirements document that we've compiled uh, provides a very basic roadmap at least for you to remember some of what we talked about today and look forward to the future. And that's where we're at. So, any luck? Yep. Yeah, oh, great. Yeah, yeah that was a great oh, summary. summary. Did you move, yeah. though? Yeah. Did I'm glad you put the photos in there. Yeah, the photos are great. I think we should set up like a separate Google part, maybe just the existing Google Drive so we can put like all the photos and everything. Mm -hmm. oh, there, there's a lot of photos on that drive that I gave you. The ones yeah. I think that were on the deck were in that. Okay. Uh, deck. I think I've got most of this team's emails. I'm happy to share them around. And uh, Bryce, you're going to reach out to me. Yeah, that'd be great. Share it. Sounds good. Some of the text here, I know there was, there was some copy written, and so I just put some blur and hit some in here for right now. Um, and then Bryce, you'll definitely get the, whatever text was written, even I'm sure you'll have to you know, massage it to get in there. Um, we got some elements for free. There was a bit of a lift just getting it into the development environment in the cloud and then issues with the internet. So that was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> But we basically, you know, have a have a process here, and you know, some of the skin here is we tried to incorporate some of the elements of the library's current site, but there's pieces in here that are just because it's in a dev environment is ugly. Like yeah. that's ridiculous. But <laughs> okay, so cool. You can scroll this out a little bit. Yeah, so basically they can enter in their information here. Um, Bryce has the ability to really easily change some of this form too. It's built in Drupal module. We can go and add fields if it needs to change you know, the way things are written or, or change these radios to check boxes if needed. Um, you know, so a person can enter in information about themselves. I like that post high school areas instead. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice touch. And then um, this is a cool, a really cool thing I think um, Ben stole from me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was the, the, Aussie, the Aussie idea here is pretty awesome, but anyway, it's just kind of a way to incorporate the whole idea of a library into the application process. I think that's a big part of the value of this. Mm -hmm. You know, hackathon was even just the mm -hmm. um, the process and of an applicant going through it, trying to soften the whole feel. Um, so that's really cool. And these are all linked on the back end to genres, so you know when they you know pick a certain one, it you know links it to drama or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think that will that feature will go over well. I like it. I mean, of course, there's some more that we'll add to it, but I just I think that it does a good job of using the library itself to improve the tone there. Yeah, maybe bring in some younger volunteers who love to to gamify their their life and their questionnaires with BuzzFeed. Yeah. So then, other you know, other information about previous volunteerism here. Uh, and they can, he can add in the list of opportunities. He can turn those into check boxes um, and then submit. There's some language, I think you put already put together some language for this page. We, we didn't get it in here, but you can easily add it on the back end. And the nice thing with this module is that it, there's a lot of free things like email notifications and exporting into a CSV file um, that you get. So, and the progress bars. And the progress bar. Stuff like that. So, oh, yeah. That should work well with their current site. That's that. Thank yeah. you. Does the client have any words of uh, uh, feedback? Well, I've been saying it all day, and I'll say it again. Thank you. This is a really good experience. I learned a lot. I learned some things I didn't expect to learn, which I was expecting. In a weird way. Uh, but I, I'm glad to have a chance to meet all of you and have a chance to work with you. And somehow I hope that our relationships continue. 
and it may be direct or it may be tangential, but I really would like to, if you're interested, give you updates on how this is going, and uh, any of you are welcome to reach out to me or the library at any time. And uh, it was unknown what we could do today because we didn't know who would show up or who, what abilities they would have or inclinations or the weather or anything. <laughs> and I'm just really pleased with what we did accomplish. And part of that is a trajectory that will allow me and the library to continue what we started today. And that's really what I wanted to get out of this the most, is something that is not an end in itself necessarily, but opens possibilities and creates a foundation that we can trust and then bring in more collaborators, you know, and domain experts to really make it as good as it can be. And I just think this is a good example of collaboration, so thank you. Yes. Well, thank you.